All right, so we've got a better understanding then of what BIM content is, what are some of the top attributes and everything. So how then do I go about creating BIM content? And I want to, I want to again reset kind of where, how I'm going to explain this uh, and, and, and how I'm going to go about laying out the next four videos after this one. And first, you know, we're happy to be 2D, the first one. The second one's going to be we've got Inventor in the house and what are the things I need to concern myself with. We've got the competitive software, and then we've got content creation services in Seek. So how then do I go about creating BIM content if I am happy to be 2D? Well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take existing 2D data and turn it into 3D models. Okay? There are, people are asking for 3D BIM content. What's the quickest path in doing that? I need to be able to concern myself with level of detail. Am I going to model up all those holes and all those flanges and all the... Probably not. Uh, you really just want a, a, an overall general footprint and then appropriate connection points. Second is you need to make sure this is going to be oriented correctly once it gets placed into uh, Revit. In, in, for example, Revit uh, Z, the Z axis is up. And in Inventor, Z axis is pointing out toward you uh, if, you're, uh, if, if, if you're looking at it from, from a default standpoint. So those are the things you need to be uh, uh, concerns about. And then secondly is of course categories. If I'm if I'm creating the envelope of a uh, air conditioning unit, uh, let's just say, I want to make sure that I'm going to predetermine that this thing's an air conditioning unit um, so that when it uh, when a Revit family gets created, uh, when they open up this file, it actually knows how to categorize it. And of course the metadata, what's, what's this thing going to cost, who's the manufacturer and so forth. And then the primary set of tools that I'm going to use are the AEC Exchange uh, tool set. 